podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. What broke him down? Was it just the body punching? I was hitting him with body punching, I heard him actually he was crying in there. You were saying that Big was crying when you hit him? Yes. When when did that happen? And perhaps the fourth round on. Boxingboys.com. So that you knew you had him by that Absolutely, time. Absolutely, but I knew he was, he was cuffing and taking those punches. Welcome back to another morning edition with the Boxing Voice Radio. Hopefully you're on your way to your job. You got to your job. You're at the water cooler. You're tuning in. We rocking out. Ness in the morning. Dumatron activated. What's really good? Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias. Good. The best part of waking up. It's TBV in your cup. And uh, looks like somebody split mandatory in play earl spence let's get into the meat and bones of this ness uh what's going on (laughs) so what's up what's up buenos dias everyone uh and it's uh you know he's he's splitting with top rank is is this something that that he split with top rank already uh but but you're saying he inform the people of who you speak of well you know i'm gonna give it my best shot you know i try and i try i think that's it you actually got it pretty good kudratillo abdukakorov oh so not Uh, spanish i can't call him quadratillo Quadratillo. No. <laughs> Quadratillo. You, you put Quadratillo. the Italian uh, pep what? on it. Or Spanish, right? Like double, uh, I mean, I double L is EO, right? So it's like. That's a letter in itself, the double L in Quad- Spanish language. Quadratillo. 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 Oh, Kudra. Kudratillo. Become, become Uzbekistanian. Mm-hmm. Kudratillo Abdukarov. <laughs> I mean, yo, you never know. His his trainer is Spanish, Armando Venezuela, so he might have given him that first name to sound Spanish. Now, if I don't know this guy, what, 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 how could you let? How could you give me? How could you bring me in to know this guy? I mean, who's he fought? No, no, no. We know this guy. This guy beat. Uh, oh, I know him. He but beat, I mean, the uh, people, the people. he beat up Luis Calazo. That's right. Um, that's right. 
But we're talking Earl Spencer's mandatory. And, and I quote, right? Where is this quote? He says, I'm excited to sign with Samson Lewickovich and Samson Boxing, said Abdul Rakorov. I've been the mandatory for Earl Spence for the past 19 months. I want to fight the best, and I'm working with Samson and the PBC. I will get the shots I've been waiting for. So, 19 months, wow. I wonder How long why- is Dillian White? Uh, <laughs> Yo, before, why you know? is Dillian White the poster boy for, like, not getting your title shot now? Everybody thinks of Dillian. Dillian... You you know you got to do your own history, man. Your own your own facts on that because Dillian says it would have been. Uh uh-oh, oh, shout out to the real tank. Yeah, let me. How, how do I reply? Let me give him some love here. Uh, bam, there you go. You a pro, champ. So uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought because that was a border wars fighter getting come coming through on a bat watch, letting me know he just finished uh a, a workout you know we link together <laughs> on the apple watch and i gotta keep the motivation going you know the that's real right tank, that's what the community does man yeah. push each other the real tank is a chubby heavyweight and he's trying to get down to 250 for this fight and he out there working my man just burnt two uh 512 calories that's a lot but anyway Whoa. back back no, to it yeah back to it i mean uh, uh, let 19 me just tell months you. yeah 19 months but he's a welterweight obviously he's undefeated He's the IBF number one welterweight. Um, so he's the WBO 13, and he's Ring Magazine number eight welterweight contender. Now, um, not Top 10 across the board? N- I mean, not across the board because, you know, you would have to pay for every sanctioning body if you want to be ranked in all of them. But, uh, you know, nevertheless, top 10 in a few sanctioning bodies. I'll pull up the theboxingvoice.com forward slash rankings to see what's the most updated rankings in the 147-pound division. Quadro Trulo is on the ring at number eight. In the WBO, he is at 13. IBF, he is number one. He's not in the BC. Actually, he's number eight in the BC. So, all but the WBA. So, you are correct in saying he's top 10 across the board, damn near. Now, I don't get why he couldn't get the fight with Earl being with top rank. Like, he split with top rank. So, let me find that quote for you. Um and Earl doesn't have any, any type of franchise belt or anything like that either, no? No. No. All right. Just want to be sure of that because, uh, you know, the, the the reason that we've been, you know, hearing as of late is, uh, you know, guys are able to go past their man, the mandos and into, you know, more lucrative fights. So I figured I'd ask because I didn't remember. But for Quadra Trulo, I think this is a fantastic move. He signed a multi-year promotional contract with Samson. Samson is a guy that uh, not only found Manny Pacquiao, but Sergio Martinez, uh, Javier Fortuna, uh, David Benavidez, you know, um, the list of names that he has goes on and on. And he's able to get his fighters on the zone, on top rank, and on PBC fights. So this is a good move. Um, I, I'm sure, based off what they want, the manager wants to get one and then go straight into that uh, Earl Spence fight. You know, um, but here goes what I was looking for. So Abdurakurov uh, was scheduled to face Russia Sergey Lipinets for the interim world championship last year, and we all know that uh, our good friend from Canada eventually got that shot. And and, and all this is because of COVID. COVID, you know, uh, what 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 was supposed to be couldn't really happen for certain guys being from different parts of the country. So, uh, for Abdurakorov, he never got that fight. It couldn't materialize because of visa difficulties and the ongoing pandemic. Um, so, Top Rank and him amicably parted ways recently. But there is rumor on Twitter that Top Rank cut him, right? Uh, whether you choose to believe that source or not is up to you. 
Did he want to be cut? I don't know. Um, why would they want to cut him when he was the interim or the number one? Like, it would have been a good fight for Crawford, at least. Undefeated welterweight. Like, where do they go with Crawford? I mean, I ain't going to say a good fight because I'm sure we would have ragged on it. Uh, you know, him coming out of nowhere, especially being ranked 13 in the WBL. But, I mean, it's a welterweight nonetheless. And they, why would they let him go? But, um, I don't know. It, 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 it's pretty... Why do you think Top Rank let him go? You know, they're they're saying they were released amicably, like they came to an agreement. They cut, they parted ways. But obviously, there's rumors that that, that, that maybe he was cut. Um, now he isn't the biggest puncher, right? Yeah. Uh, may, maybe 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 Top Rank said, "Hey, yo, seventeen and zero, only nine KOs." You know. I you know I don't want to know. I he mean, is I don't the wanna... WBC silver champion, by the way. A silver champ. Well, we know now from uh, 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 you know the sit down lesson with Mr. Maurice Suleiman what that means. So it, it's all good, but you know I, I don't want to start to think that I know what's going on financially <laughs> on the top rank side. But like, what other reasons do you let a guy go besides you know maybe you not believing in in your investment? Are there budget cuts going on? It's is there monies maybe invested in uh, some of their other prime fighters? Could be a multitude of reasons, really, but uh, um, I mean, the kid's been winning. So, you know, as far as fighting, uh, I I really don't know why they would let him go. But obvious for obvious reasons, uh, maybe um, you know, top rank just had to make a cut, and uh, or maybe Samson, you know, was 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 in there and 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 maybe presented an offer, and you just don't know why things happen, but. Um, it could it could be it could be a couple of reasons man i i see him as a as a fighter that is exciting high output uh, you know marketing purposes man is always the thing can i market this guy you know can we get him on the camera is he going to sell tickets is he going to you know sell the crowd and i don't know if uh, top rank even got to that level with him where they could you know go ahead and see what what numbers he could move so you know that that's that's all i can really say about it right Basically, basically, because I mean, as a fighter, I mean, what do you what do you think? I mean, what do we got here? We got a guy who's uh, undefeated nine KOs. You know, I don't know anybody on this resume except Colazzo. Obviously, you know, he's fought on the other side of the world for the most part of his career. So, you know, the only guy I do know is Luis Colazzo. So can't I can't I didn't see the development uh, happen in the States yet for me to. uh you know anchor myself to one point or another but uh you know it could be budget cuts it could be so many things but is he not it, it, do i see a future for him in, in, with samson yeah of course it does he get that mando ness uh i don't know if if that's something that 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 earl might be interested in unless he's just trying to you know you know maybe maybe appease the sanctioning bodies and and you know and and, and maybe he just wants to take a, a mando real quick uh, and, and, and weight of any other big fights You know the scheduling is sometimes hard with these guys You just don't know what's going on under the table In negotiations uh, Well I got some more quotes uh, From the manager Vikram Who says uh, Samson can provide us with more Opportunities to have More fights and Work with the PBC That's where all the Welterweight champs are I've known Samson for years and he is a great person and has a great reputation and he keeps his word. So uh, they seem like they chose to leave top rank based on the lack of welterweights with top rank or welterweight champions with top rank. Uh, Because based on the quote, while, you know, again, the Twitterverse may be saying that they were cut. They seem happy to be going somewhere where they can deal with the welterweights over at PBC. And we all know Samson has that relationship. Say what? So it's because of that wall that stands between Top Rank and PBC, huh? I mean, a possibility, right? I mean, we we, we really don't know how they feel personally, but uh, it seems like the writing's on the wall. Well, man, look, uh, a boxer needs to stay active and uh, he needs to be in a place where he can, uh, you know, show his talent and, 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 and I obviously, you know, be able to pick 
good fights, good opponents. And, uh, you know, when your stable's not, not, not popping or there's not enough in your weight class, you end up waiting a lot, you know, for fights to happen. And uh, there's nothing more detrimental to a fighter than just sitting on the sidelines. So, you know, these moves got to be made, man. And Samson's a, a, a hell of a manager. So I, I see... I see. Uh, um, this I is, see his. Go ahead. You see what? I'm sorry. No, I see. I see his career. You know, not 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 standing still. No stand still stale. Yeah, I you agree. Know? I think he's gonna get. Um, I agree. I think he's gonna get uh, some some good fights or some maybe some guys. Because you know what it is. You know, he's fought so many guys I don't know. I need to see him in there with more guys that I do know in order for his name to start popping out. I mean, you know, it just it's just not popping out enough. And, uh, you know, him being with Luis Colazo was something that put him on a map, you know, for the American people. And, uh, you know, with all this COVID stuff going on, I, I mean, I don't know if he's living out here or whatnot. But, uh, Sorry, bro. No, it's cool, man. It's a tight situation uh, for a lot of the fighters, you know, Eastern European fighters that actually live out there. And um, it would be nice to know if he's actually, you know, staying down here and 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 willing oh, to commit. Oh yeah, to yeah, the, yeah. No, fun, you know? no, no, no. He's here. He's here. He trains in uh, Santa Fe Springs, California, under the tutelage of Armando Venezuela. So, no, he's definitely here. He's here, and, okay. And he's dedicating his life to the sport. And Samson Lewicovich is going to keep him active the way that you suggested. Uh, he says that he plans to uh, give up Korodo, uh, Abdul Korodov uh, one stay busy fight and then go straight into the Spence fight. Now, yeah. if, 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 if Spence declines that bout, they'll do an interim championship. Now, I never heard of that. I'm shocked that Lewicovich would be quoted saying if Spence declines it because, I mean, don't you just... So what, go- he, he gives up the belt? No, that- but that's what I'm saying. Don't uh-huh. you just go to purse bid if he declines it and you force your man to try? Like, I I, I don't know what he means, but it sounds like they're, n- they're not truly in a rush to go in this Earl. They've been on the shelf. They'd rather get a little active. Uh, that being said, um, I think we could see the possibility of Abdur Korov and... Uh, Jerron Ennis. Now that would that would mean that that that, that Luikovich and Cameron Duncan from one promotions would have to deal with each other. But and it would also mean Abdul Rakorov is going to be looking back. As good as we think Jerron is, he's Absolutely. not. He's not the number one. He's not the mandatory. He's not in line. He's not getting an interim shot. So uh, Quadratilo will be giving. Jerron a shot so Showtime Espinoza and Cameron would have to pay for that shot so up to Lewicovich if he feels like should we get a stay busy and wait for the big fight with Earl which is a big fight but technically mm-hmm. it's not because you're the mandatory so you get a mandatory split of like 25% or do we go ahead and try to negotiate with this up and coming prospect who needs a name and see, can we get a little more money for this fight and roll the dice? If you beat him, you're still the mandatory and your name is bigger. I'm going to have to go with uh, with those options, bro. 